And I just want to entitle my message today. The reason I brought Brother Porter back here to do the the firefighters are busy with the children downstairs. If we were done early up here, that would cut them short down there. And I don't want that to happen. I want them to go full full fledged down there this morning. Uh, my message this morning is uh, about a fireman's survival kit. I have up here something that was uh, prepared for us. Uh, Pastor Trail or Chaplain Trail is known in our local church as the candy man to all the little children. What happens is I give a treat out at the door while they're going out and kids just love to get treats. That goes back to my own childhood when an elderly lady at my home church used to give me pink peppermints. My mom and dad didn't know anything about that. But you think that I didn't like to sit beside that old lady. It wasn't her age, nor her looks, nor the perfume. It was the candy. <laughs> Once in a while, we joke with folks back at the door here. They're going out and say, you're trying to keep us sweet. And I said, yes, that's exactly it. If I've said something from the pulpit that turned your crank or made you a little bit sour, I want to sweeten you up before you go away so you'll come back. And so, the candy man, all right? Whether it's ministry, fire department, first responders, ambulance, we do have training sessions from time to time. There'll be other times when there's a convention or a retreat or a special dinner, Fireman Sunday, like we're having today. It's always nice to have a little reprieve or a little break from the regular routine. Something that's special that when we can come together and have some fellowship one with another, some fun, and feast while we do it. It seems to build or boost the morale of the department. So a break from the rat race, uh, that's what we have here today today. I don't want anybody to get bored with the church or bored with the fire department. It's nice to keep things moving nice and happy all the time, if that's possible. Sometimes it isn't. So I prepared an object lesson this morning around an assortment of six candies. In this survival kit, there's some lifesavers. In this, there's some Starburst. And in this, there's some Hershey Kisses and... And there's some gum in there and peppermint patty and even a Snickers bar. And we put them all together, and I'm going to call that my fireman's survival kit. And when we're done comparing what it means to the fire department, I want to go through the six again and make a spiritual application. Uh, after all, we are in church today. And in doing so, bringing this spiritual application I do want to show appreciation to our departments and also hopefully continue to boost our morale on the fire departments. That's what Fireman Sunday is all about. Show us appreciation, give us a little break, some fellowship, some fun, and feast. The theme overall is to bring unity to our department. So I want to say thank you today to every firefighter, first responder, that has joined us for worship this morning, and I trust my message will be an inspiration to you. Uh, several months back, actually, our, uh, our uh, Appreciation Sunday is usually in May. We had a death in our church at that time and couldn't have it, but we had all this prepared for then, and so it is six months old, but it's still good according to the date, okay? And not the date on the candy, the date that I put it together. All right, okay. I thought, uh, I, I, actually, I've seen the inspiration for this. Uh, and Julianne is here this morning, and she posted something on Facebook. It would be back six, seven months ago, and it was a firefighter survival kit. I thought it was neat and cute. I thought, I wonder if I can do a takeoff on that for Fireman Sunday. It was Julie that actually helped me purchased the supplies she did all the decorating and and I put the candy in it okay the fireman's survival kit in there we do have some uh, lifesavers okay that's in there today 
This is to remind each and every one of you of the times that you have actually saved a life. It's part of the rewards of keeping us going to the next call. You've made a difference in the life of that individual and also in the lives of the family in whom they are a part of. So uh, this morning, thank you for being a lifesaver. Anybody like one this morning? Here, what? There you go. <laughs> and next in our survival kit is uh, a starburst. Okay. This is to remind you of the energy that you're going to need. And if you hear that tone go off at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning where you're in a dead sleep, and you say, oh, no, I need my sleep to go to the job in the morning. But some, that tone does something to your hearing, to, your, to the rest of your body. And all of a sudden, there's an adrenaline rush. Somebody needs my help right now. And the sooner that we can get to them, the better. And so sleep doesn't matter at that point. You haven't got time to have a cup of coffee before you hit the road. There's a motor vehicle accident. There's a medical assist or a structure fire and that is happening. And it doesn't take long for things to deteriorate very quickly. Somebody needs our help. Now, my chief mentioned that he was to the school this weekend to the uh, pre-care or daycare on the Clarney Road and maybe spook some. When our firefighters are all dressed up in that bunker gear, it doesn't take long to get heated up, even when it's 40 below zero and their face masks will fog and whatever. But in that heat, it doesn't take long for them to get dehydrated, so they must carry water with them, not only to drown a fire, but to keep them hydrated. And it can become physically exhausting very quickly. Need a shot of energy, some like the Gatorade, where there's electrolytes in there to bring those up. How about a starburst? A little bit of sugar energy to keep you going, that extra shot that you need. Anybody want a starburst? Here, Dave. All right. In my fireman's kit, I also have some Hershey Kisses. And this is love and appreciation, okay? Wow. What a motivator. See what happens. Someone that we have ministered to or helped saved their life, and they show appreciation to the department by sending us back a card. We have even got cakes, and we even got a big one one time, a boat. And say, what is this? It's saying thank you to the department for helping to spare my life. We want to show our love and appreciation. And they do it as a department. However, if they show up in person and they happen to know the person that risked their lives to save their, theirs, I'm sure they would give them a hug and a kiss. Thank you for going out of your way to spare my life. It's something about love and appreciation that goes a long way in our department to boost the morale and also prepare us for the next call. So I trust the Fireman Sunday that we have today here in special recognition with an appreciation dinner donation that we have given is a token of our appreciation to let you know we do appreciate what you do. Love and appreciation and recognition goes a long ways. There you go. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> Hugs and kisses. Uh, you don't have to be a child to like a hug and a kiss. Amen. <laughs> then uh, we have a stick of gum. This is to remind us that we need to stick together. Now, we come from different backgrounds, social classes, races, genders, personalities, religious beliefs, educations, and all those dynamics in themselves and differences is enough for conflict before we do anything. And so there must be something that unites us together. And I'd like to tell us today the cause that we represent is greater than any one of us individually. It's the cause that brought us together it's the cause that will continue to unite us. 
And so we may need a piece of gum to remember that we need to stick together. At times, more times than enough, we may disagree, but we stay together. I'm looking at a mature congregation here this morning and mostly married folks, and uh, I'm sure you have disagreements in your marriage, but you don't head to the divorce court every time there's a little pet peeve or a grievance. Say, so why? Because you made a commitment to stick together for life, and with our fire department, oh, hopefully that it's the same. When you signed up, you know that there's other people different than you. There's going to be conflict from time to time, but the cause is greater than any one of us, so we are going to stick together. We have on our departments what is known as SOPs and SOGs, Standard Operating Procedures or Standard Operating Guidelines. Hopefully these things will help to unite us. If they don't, a piece of gum will. Mother. There you go. (laughs) All right. Then I've got a peppermint patty. This reminds us that we need to keep our cool. It sort of relates to the gum in a way, doesn't it? Stick together, keep our cool. There are some things that will tick you every now and then, and more often it'll be an individual rather than a thing. Anybody ever get any under somebody's skin? We need to keep our cool even though our temper is boiling, all right? The definition of patience, or one of the definitions, is uh, not saying a word when you feel like stripping the gears. (laughs) And if you have ever been angry, you know that you don't think right. Uh, You're acting more out of emotions when you're angry, so then your mind is sort of lost. And if you're not thinking right, you don't perform right, And if you don't perform right, your actions won't be right. This is why, as professional people, we need to keep our our cool and watch out one for another. Now, that's mine. (laughs) Someone wanted that peppermint patty, but you're out of luck this morning. (laughs) They're in the kits. <laughs> and then I have here a little Snickers bar. And this here really helps. It's to remind us to keep our sense of humor. Everything goes better when you can laugh a little bit or a whole lot. And if you have the ability to laugh at yourself, that's a good character trait. You say, why? Because you help others to laugh with you instead of at you. And so we need to keep our sense of humor. Who wants the Snickers bar? Oh, there's the... (laughs) You're going to get a kit. There you go, sister. I didn't throw it hard enough. All right. (laughs) So there you have a miniature... I think it's back another seat yet, isn't it? Or did it bounce back up? She went after that like it was a caramel. (laughs) And Jean loves caramels, okay? Uh, There you have a miniature fireman's survival kit. Lifesavers, remind us when we saved a life. Starburst, remind us of the extra energy that we'll need. And supernatural power or resources from above. The Hershey kiss, the love and appreciation that we need. Gum to stick together, keep the unity. The peppermint padded to keep our cool, to be temperate, and act in a professional manner at all times. And the Snickers bar to remind us to have some humor. <laughs> That's a quite a neat little fire kit, don't you think? Now, in the next half of my message, I'd like to draw a spiritual parallel. We sang, of course, this morning about our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, and I'd like to present to you that Jesus is one of the best firefighters that you'll ever know. So why is that? He's a lifesaver. Put my first scripture up on the board there, Revelation chapter 1 and 18. And the Lord that I serve today, he said, I am he that liveth, was dead, behold, I'm alive forevermore, and I have the keys of hell and of death. 
When he died on Calvary, he went to the lower parts of the earth and took the keys of death and hell from the devil. So you know what? He, he went there and got the license, the permission, whatever, so that you don't have to go there. I think he's quite a firefighter. And not only to save you from hellfire, he saves as a healer. He saves as a deliverer. He saves as a protector. And he's put ministry into the hands of people like myself and others. And we are instructed in the word of God to save souls from the burning. Jude chapter 1 and 23. So save souls from the burning. Pulling them out of the fire. Literally talking about hellfire. I want to be a firefighter for Jesus. Amen. Pull people out of the fire. All right. Jesus also said in John chapter 14 and 6, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me. Jesus is the one who gives life and breath, strength, energy, stamina, the air, the oxygen that we need to do what we have to do. The times when we are weary and tired and fatigued and stressed out and Cannot go another step further, and then the tongue goes off. Somebody needs help. Where does that strength come from? Now, I know we like to say it's an adrenaline rush, but I know a God that gives us extra strength when we don't have any of our own. Amen. What about his love and compassion? His love for you and I took him to Calvary's tree to die in our place so that we could live. We sing a course here at our local church. Uh, how wonderful is love like this, that one should love a sinner such as I. How wonderful is love like this. I'll show you how wonderful it is. Everybody knows this scripture in John chapter 3 and 16. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. Jesus loves every one of us. He really does. What about sticking close together? The gum in John chapter 13, 34, and 35, and also chapter 15 and verse 12, he said, I want you to love one another like I have loved you. And it's by your love for one another that people will know you are my disciples. And so we need to have love one for another, stick close together. That makes us family. And family ought to be able to get along and stand up for one another, even if we've had a disagreement previously. <laughs> I've had an occasion or two in my life where maybe uh, I've had a set to with my brother or sister, and just within the next minute, some bully would come up, and they're going to pick a fight. Well, hey, don't pick a fight with my brother or sister, even if we just had a fight. You say, what, because we're brother or sisters, and you're not going to divide us as a family. We stick together. I'm thankful for Jesus putting that in his word and in his will, that we're to love one another as brothers and sisters in the Lord. And I would say that the fire departments, they're like a family. Church family, fire department family. Uh, each one that's on that is like a brother and sister to us. They're not our enemy. They're our friend. All right. What about keeping our cool? Jesus put it in his will again that we are to be long-suffering and kind and patient and tolerant toward one another, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. These are all characteristics, traits, and attributes that a Christian should have. Now, I realized this morning that every fighter, fighter may not be a Christian, but it sure would help as far as keeping your cool. So that's a little plug on my behalf this morning, all right? We'd admonish you to serve the Lord. And then what about the sense of humor? There's a story in the Bible that I always thought was a little funny or amusing. Say, what's that? It's back in the Old Testament. Children of Israel, they're crossing the Red Sea. It's their deliverance from Egyptian bondage. And uh, they get halfway across the Red Sea, and, and we find that the Egyptians are following him. The reason they're following, they want to catch up 
take them back into captivity and take them back to Egypt. God had promised his people that he was going to deliver them and they would never see Egypt again. So they're crossing the Red Sea. And the scripture tells us that the Israelites crossed on dry ground. When the Egyptians tried to cross behind them, the ground got a little bit muddy. And it says that their chariot wheels drave hard. What do you mean? They got stuck. And when you try to push a machine or whatever when it's stuck, sometimes that breaks equipment. And here it even mentions their wheels fell off. You know who's behind all that? The Lord. Imagine him coming down from heaven, <laughs> throwing some more water on the dirt so they could get stuck, <laughs> loosening their chariot wheels so the bearings would come out of it and the wheels would fall off. I would say a little mischievous, wouldn't you? A little bit of humor there, some practical jokes. The reason the Lord did that, he was making a way for his people to escape and at the same time causing hardship for the enemy. That's just like my Lord. He does have a sense of humor. So I'd like to propose to you today that Jesus was the greatest firefighter making way for us to escape hellfire. And I appreciate him for doing so. My Lord deserves a token of a lifesaver. He deserves the starburst. He deserves the Hershey kisses. He deserves the stick of gum. He deserves the peppermint patty. And he deserves the Snickers bar. <laughs> the same as we have for each one of you today. Julie, if you'd like to come up, I want you to help me to hand these out to each of our firefighters. Them to you, and you can run them back. How's that? You feel like running them today? <laughs> There's one for your good husband. Okay? You can, oh, yeah, go back and give it to him. Come on back. <laughs> and here's one for our chief. Our deputy chief. You get tired and looking other around. Yes, Shane. Yes, it is. It always helps in the fire department if the deputy chief and the chief have a good wife because it makes helps make them what they are. So for our chief wife. Ah, yes. And our deputy chief wife. Wait. Oh. <laughs> now you're making me run now. <laughs> you want to run faster? <laughs> we have the chief and his wife from the Stanley Department. Sean and his wife. Two with this one. How's that? Oh. There you go. <laughs> Chaplain from our own department, or for, excuse me, the Stanley department. I don't want to give one of these to myself, okay? <laughs> I do. <laughs> I see another member of our department back there. It, uh, <coughs> just got a mental block. Isn't that awful? <laughs> There's two back there. Let's do the lady first, Cheyenne, okay? <laughs> Cheyenne is a great member of our department. She does a lot of the stuff that's not seen, and we do appreciate it. <coughs> and that was just long enough to make me remember the other name. Jerry, come on. 
<laughs> Good friend of mine, and I forgot his name. It was a friend of mine. Deserve one of these for yourself. Oh, that one got untied. Let's give you one that is tied. That's for you. <laughs> now, I see. Ah, oh, there he is, way back there. Ernie, and I'm going to give you two for him because he's got a good wife that makes him what he is. one for Gordon's wife. She made him what he is, too. <laughs> Sister Heather over on this side. We have here today with us two former members of our department. I'll call them honorary members. Tim and Ruth. Am I missing anybody from either fire department or first responders? Going way back in the sound booth, that happens to be my wife. <laughs> okay. Uh, best not to forget that. I don't want to be in the doghouse. Huh? <laughs> I didn't miss anybody. Julie, we're going to hold the rest of this up, and you can either take this to the department yourself or our chief and for the absentees today, even though they don't deserve to be yelling because they're not here. <laughs> <laughs> I trust the little message homily the comparison this morning be something that will stick by you I would just want to say how much that I uh, appreciate the fire department uh, I was part of our Bible college for 11 years the average stay at a Bible college is six years I love my job at the Bible school I don't know what the average stay on the fire department is but I'm sure by now I have overextended my stay, but I'm not looking to get, I hope you're not looking to get rid of me anytime soon. <laughs> Say, why? Because I enjoy the fire department. It is a ministry, even as much as uh, pastoring a church is a ministry. I love uh, the folks on the department and the folks that we serve, and each time that's an opportunity, it's an honor. So, uh, uh, where's Julie again? You're seated. We've seen two more that just come in. And Brother Alfred and his good wife. Would you make sure that they get? <laughs> we appreciate them. And I'm sure we got some downstairs. Are they still busy downstairs doing their work down there? Or are they ready for us? Amen. Sister Trail, could you see if they're ready to serve dinner just a little bit early? We have some instructions about downstairs and serving the dinner today. <clears throat> 